plows into a building tonight. The brother of the driver blamed for that crash says it just doesn't add up. The violent impact took out the brick wall of a business at Dexter and Doris, injuring several people. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville is live on Detroit's west side tonight with the aftermath and all of this. Aaron? Stephen and Carolyn, we've been out here for several hours since about 3.30 this afternoon. Crews are still out here, too. It looks like they're just about to wrap up. They just finished fixing a utility pole out here. But you can check out all the debris. This is from one of the white SUVs that was involved in one of the accidents, papers from that car. And then over there to this side, that's that big brick wall, that big hole from that DDOT bus. Just real quickly, here's what happened. At least this is what police are telling us what happened. The white SUV was coming down door. Police telling us it was speeding. The DDOT bus was coming this way on Dexter. They both collided. And then that big hole over there is from the bus going through there. But in talking to family tonight, I can tell you they certainly have a different story about what happened out here. Ain't no way in the world that bus was going 30 miles an hour, which is Dexter's speed limit, to hit that car, end up inside of a brick building. You had to be going like 60, bro, because even if you would have hit the car, he had plenty of time to stop. You slid all the way over there. Julius Davis is angry after hearing investigators say his little brother was speeding and caused this accident. 18-year-old Elijah Brown was behind the wheel this afternoon after his SUV collided with a DDOT bus near Dexter and Doris. Ain't nobody going to cross Dexter flying like that. The way they saying it, my little brother responsible driver. He don't smoke, don't drink. He, he was on his way to a, a and he, they noticed he had a suit on when he, when he got out of the car. He was on his way to an entrepreneur meeting. Investigators say the teenager was speeding down doors, slamming into the bus, setting off this chain reaction. The bus went careening through a brick wall, the garage area of Sun Valley Foods. Five were inside the bus, including the 60-year-old driver who was rushed to the hospital. Workers could not believe what they had seen. I saw the bus go by really fast going down the sidewalk and I screamed, you know, the bus, the bus is running out on the sidewalk. Brown has a collapsed lung and some other cuts and bruises. Thankfully, no one inside the receiving area of the garage was injured when that bus came flying in. There ain't no way in the world he ran that stop sign. It's, I don't believe it. It's impossible. Family members have been coming to the scene for most of the night to get a look for themselves. And you can see right over there, that's actually one of the brothers that was in our story, Julius. They're taking a look at the scene, looking through the wall over there. Crews are still out here. Hopefully they'll get at least this utility pole finished or at least this secured for the rest of the night. And uh, still this investigation continues. Carolyn? Pretty shocking. No one was killed in all of that. So, Aaron, what about the other people who were injured in all of this? How are they doing tonight? Yeah, we know that five people were injured in total. Three others were injured on that bus. We know a 60-year-old man was injured. A 65-year-old man was injured on the bus. Also, we're told a 45-year-old woman who was apparently wheelchair bound was on the bus. But thankfully, they suffered non-life-threatening injuries. As for Elijah Brown, like we told you earlier, he does have a collapsed lung. He has some bruised ribs, some cuts and bruises, possibly some glass in the eye and the face. But his brother says he's going to be okay. And like you said, Carolyn, certainly a miracle that nobody lost their life in this situation. Right about that. Thank you so much, Aaron, for the updates all day long for us. We appreciate it, Stephen.